Hi, my name is Carrie Leewitz, and I'm an interdisciplinary graduate fellow in social psychology at Stanford University. I'm so excited to share this paper with you today. Winter is coming, wintertime mindset and well-being in Norway. This is work I conducted with my colleague Jörg Vitterso at the University of Tromsø when I was living in Tromsø, Norway as part of a US-Norway Fulbright research grant. Tromsø is a very special city. It's located 350 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. In fact, Tromsø is so far north that in the winter, the sun doesn't rise above the horizon at all for two months during what's known as the polar night. Now, some research suggests that rates of seasonal affective disorder or wintertime depression should be relatively high in a place that's so far north. You see, the latitude hypothesis of seasonal affective disorder states that as you get farther away from the equator, where it gets darker during the winter, rates of wintertime depression should go up. But research in Tromsø hasn't supported this theory. People in Tromsø have relatively low rates of seasonal affective disorder, and other studies have found no relationship between latitude of living and rates of wintertime depression. So our study attempted to understand how people in northern Norway are able to thrive even during the long, dark, cold winters. We hypothesized that people's wintertime mindsets might be an important factor. Mindsets are selective viewpoints that help us understand the world. And we can think of someone's wintertime mindset as how one thinks about and relates to the winter. What comes to mind when you think of winter? What do you expect winter will be like? Do you think of winter as a time of year with lots of things to look forward to? A positive wintertime mindset? Or do you think of it as a time of year with lots of things to dread? A negative wintertime mindset? Importantly, mindsets are selective. They're mental shortcuts. So while the truth is that winter possesses both positive and negative qualities, your wintertime mindset might determine which of these qualities you're likely to focus on more. You can try this at home. Do you agree or disagree with the statement, there are many things to enjoy about the winter? What about the statement, winter is an especially beautiful time of year? If you agreed with both of these, you might have a positive wintertime mindset. In our study, we developed a scale to measure wintertime mindset and surveyed over 200 Norwegians living at three latitudes, in southern Norway, near Oslo, in northern Norway, near Tromsø, and in way, way, way northern Norway, in Svalbard, which is an Arctic island about halfway between northern Norway and the North Pole. These Norwegians were surveyed at the end of January, in the middle of winter. We found that a positive wintertime mindset was correlated with measures of well-being such as life satisfaction and positive emotions. We also found that latitude and wintertime mindset were correlated with Norwegians living farther north holding more positive wintertime mindsets. Furthermore, wintertime mindset statistically mediated the relationship between location and well-being, meaning that for people living farther north, a positive wintertime mindset was associated with increases in well-being. This research suggests that wintertime mindset might be a previously overlooked factor in explaining the well-being experienced by residents living in the high north during winter. This study is just the beginning of research on wintertime mindset. It's our hope that this research will start a new conversation about the psychology of winter, one that isn't just focused on when and how people become depressed during the winter, but also on the ways that people are able to thrive and flourish during the winter.